so here I am in Jerupa Valley, California, right? I'm at this pilot flying J, and I'm trying this Wendy's breakfast for the first time ever. Normally, when I grab breakfast, if I'm able to do so, it's not every time that I'm able to get breakfast. But when I get the chance, I'm either at Hardee's or Carl Jr., depending on the location, um, Burger King, or McDonald's. I mean, I'll always get the bacon, egg, cheese biscuit. But this time I decided to try something different. I mean, I am a big fan of the chicken biscuit. But here lately it's just been bacon, egg, and cheese like forever. But anyway, I went back to the chicken biscuit. And I decided to try uh, Wendy's Honey Chicken Biscuit. And you get these right here, right? Now, you can call them potato wedges or whatever you want to call them. Or you can just follow the same name that Wendy's give them. But, you know... These are actually better than potato wedges because of the size. Normally, when I see potato wedges, and I'm pretty much judging these from the uh, Pilot Flying J or even perhaps the spot at uh, Chester's. Now, Chester's got those big ass Food of the Gods potato wedges. I'm like, two of those and you're done. I like these better than the Pilot um, Flying J uh, potato wedges which the pilot flying J potato wedges are pretty decent really but you get a lot more you know they put them in the same little fry cup soon as you unveil the chicken biscuit the honey chicken biscuit though that honey hits you right in the face and damn <laughs> this is good that's on point i ain't mad at wendy's wendy's had breakfast a long time ago and it's been a good minute since they brought it back up until now but <laughs> i'm thinking chicken uh wendy's breakfast is this is my go-to spot from here on out. Now, I'm over here in California. I don't know how the chicken biscuit is going to be uh, in another state or, hell, matter of fact, even in a different part of California because, you know, somebody can go in there and overcook it and then I can feel differently about it. But right now, at this particular time, that chicken biscuit is on point. I was trapped earlier this day. Also, when you come to this pilot flying J, they're gonna have like plenty of parking spots over there in the reserve spot. And I, I never pay for parking. I asked old bet on the inside because where I'm at right now, there's a sign saying, um, you know, you will be told at owner's expense. And there's even a phone number. And it even tells you the, uh, the particular company that's gonna tow your truck or whatever, right? So I go on the inside and I'm like, hey, how much it cost for truck parking? But it told me $20. I'm like, shh, you pay no damn $20. And then he was like, uh, man, it should be plenty of uh, free parking spots out there. I said, man, all the spots where the free parking spots would be at, they are already spoken for. I said, man, I'm parked along this fence line over here, and there's a sign saying you will be told at owner's expense. So he was like, uh, he's like, man, don't worry about that, man. Um, here in California, man, it's pretty much impossible to find um, truck parking, and we waived it. You know, all we ask that you just respect the, uh, the area, man, you know, don't as long as there's no trash around the truck, etc., and everything like that, man, you'll be fine. Just shut down there for the night. You'll be good. I said, all right, bet. So here I am, shutting down, enjoying this awesome chicken biscuit. All right, everybody. Stay trucking. Be safe. Keep smiling. Catch you next time. I tried to deliver this load yesterday. Uh, over in uh, Rialto, if I'm pronouncing it right, California. I'm not too far away from that spot. My appointment is today. <laughs> I tried to deliver it yesterday and they just turned me around. Like, hey man, the urge we can take you, man, is at one o'clock. So as soon as 12 hit, 12 30 hit, I'm gonna go ahead and make my way over there. Check right back in and get this load delivered. Um, it shouldn't take them long to unload this truck because it's like maybe three or four pallets of theirs that they gotta get off this, and then I gotta make my way all the way to Stockton, California. Which their load is not due until Monday, which is tomorrow. Then I'm going to go ahead and get down that way and see if they can grab it right now. I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that they go ahead and take it.